This week on WTF, we visit the Foundation of Goodness here in Senegama. Established in 1999, we have heard some great projects that they have done and of course some mega stars who have come forward to support the Foundation of Goodness. We speak to Kushal Gunasekara about his inspiration and what has been his success story in helping so many people in this village. We'll speak more this week on WTF. What, why did you start this? Well, I was a young boy uh, originating from this village um, of Sinegama. Um, I had the good fortune to study in Colombo. And each time I came back to the village, I literally saw hundreds and hundreds of kids, uh, smarter, brighter, more cleverer than I was. So, but they was not making the progress, the same progress I did, although I didn't study too much. Um, but just played, you know, cricket and a lot of sports at the the college. Um, and I wanted to know why the disparity, I was very intrigued as to why they are not making the progress. So I knew their lack of opportunity, um, facilities and training and the exposure. So I vowed one day compassionately that I would come back to my village and do something for them just the same way I had access to all the privileged facilities uh, as in the urban city. Now we have gone from zero to 20%. Uh, sustainable income generation. So our target is in the next five years by 2020 to make it 100%. And then it's a story, you know, the tsunami hit uh, this village, went to uh, down zero, ruined rubble debris, built it up uh, to a level like a campus. So many, like Danu said, have climbed the level of success, um, excelled in life, and then to generate sustainable income within the foundation of goodness and to sustain it without door dependence. One of the other key parts to this is, of course, the, the computer training center. And right now I have someone with me who has been a part of this even before the tsunami. And uh, Foundation of Goodness sort of took a very drastic change after the tsunami because there were so many people who came forward to support the Foundation of Goodness. So tell me about this. And you all have also had like two success stories out of this. So tell me about how it all works here. We have two teachers uh, who train from here. Mm. I, I, so, you know, when some students, some students come from here, they never touch a computer. Mm. But uh, they are working now with the computer and they earn now. Mm. And, uh, and we have BPO project, two BPO projects. There so are, you're a back office too? Yeah, back office too. Okay. There are uh, 28 students uh, working uh, and they also train from here and they work and earn now. Excellent. Thank you so very much, Saman. Uh, yeah, continue doing a great yeah. job and thank Thanks. you so very much for giving us your time. At the Foundation of Goodness, over 30 empowerment programs are currently taking place. But we are only highlighting a few today on the video. And uh, one of the first things that we wanted to speak about is the need for elocution. Because um, the surrounding villages and Sinigaba, kids from here come here to educate themselves free of charge. We're just going to walk into one of the classes where they teach elocution because, um, because they do believe that speaking the language correctly is very, very important. And they've got expert teachers who have come forward to support the Foundation of Goodness on this program. Right now I'm with Michael. As you know, this is all vocational training based so that uh, survival and also job opportunities are more. But this man has been making headlines because one of his students have done really well. We'll speak about it. So tell me about the program that you handle here at the yes, Foundation yes. of Goodness. We train here electricians, okay. domestic and industrial. Right. Both. Okay. And how long is the course for? Uh, the course duration six months. And it's all provided it's for your part-time part course. Yes. Okay. Yes, and your yes. the student who won the award uh, last year, uh. he won the national award. Okay. And what's his name? Uh, Lakshan Priyanka. All right. Thank you so very much for your time and uh, thank you. continue doing your good job. Thank you. During the World Cup, uh, when Sri Lanka took on Australia, one of the biggest things that we were all looking out for is that little thing that's behind me. Jayan Ratnathunga, of course, known for all his fancy YouTube videos, made it really popular uh, to wear the lion's outfit. And this is all uh, to benefit the Foundation of Goodness. Such an interesting thing that happened. And if you want to see the costume for those who didn't get a chance to buy tea in Sri Lanka, that's how it looks. You have been working with the Foundation of Goodness in creating a global platform um, and to sustain um, so that there are more people who benefit out of this. And how has the journey been so far? The journey has been amazing. I wasn't expecting to be here for so long. I was only planning on coming for a couple of months. And once I 
they came and realized how much I could actually do within that time frame uh, and how well run the organization was um, was going and um, what really the possibilities were, I, I decided I needed to use it. So Authentic Village Experience, that's Simply Scenic Gallery, it's another uh, platform. When people come here, they get a chance to experience how is it to be a part of a village, you know, do things that you never get to do in a city or like somewhere if you're coming from another country. So Simply Scenic Gallery is to create a platform where people who walk in can experience the village stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. What, what I realized when I came that Scenic Hour really has a lot of amazing aspects to it. it. It was a really unique opportunity that I thought we really should try to market it. Just about seven years ago, um, my lucrative uh, business of trading sugar, I just decided to give it up. Um, it was a big decision, uh, but I can tell you now that um, when I had all the money I wanted, I was uh, internally very poor and externally rich, but the roles have reversed now and I feel so blissfully happy inside me, but externally poor. But that doesn't matter, because at the end, um, I get good seven, eight hours of sleep. Um, my bliss cannot be compared to anything else. Um, and I feel so good that I have um, placed the ladder uh, for them to climb uh, success. Well, we had a great time coming to know how much you can do when you really want to give with a good heart. And that's what's happening here from everyone, from the person who cooks the meal to the person who runs the operation. Thank you so very much for joining us on WTF. We'll catch you again soon.